Key Collective. Um, I just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all about a couple things. I was going through one of my old notes, okay? See, I got a lot of, like, a lot of old notes. And I was going through them, and this was very interesting. So today we're going to talk about an energetic low vibe loop. And identifying if you're stuck in one or... Okay, huh? Some tea. Okay. Energetic low vibe loop. And this is 111. That's the confirmation number that's on this page. Okay. Reoccurring situation. The more you stay in this confused frequency, the more you send out to the universe a confused or unclear vibration, which makes it tougher to manifest a positive resolution. You might be a, you might be an unaware prisoner of an energetic low vibe loop. Feelings of doubt, fear, and wrong, and worry lower the frequencies you sent out to the universe. Focus on joy, inspiration, and gratitude. Steer clear. Steer clear of negative thinking. Focus on the blessings present in the moment. That's that expression of gratitude. Okay. Um. Release low vibes that's affecting me. Um. A light thoughts light thoughts on what I truly desire to manifest let no one make me feel like I can't do it make me feel jealousy insecurity distrust or intent sorry y'all this is old intendedly this toxic resolve or relief okay come on y'all the less awake each partner is, the together, the tougher it is to become, the tougher it becomes to handle, manage, and let alone diminish the presence of lower frequencies. Motivated by jealousy, insecurity, distrust, and intendedly, highly toxic resolve or release from, why are you fighting me? What's wrong? Okay. Sorry, y'all. Or release from the from life. Don't assign judgment, disappointment, or resentment resentment to anyone as you're looking, thinking over not to you or your former partner. Manifest abundance and blessings, peaceful ep epiphanies, powerful epiphanies, high vibe love, new chapters, divine inspiration. Break free from lower vibe. Manifest blessings. Creator of my destiny, harmonize and frequencies of receiving to get blessing. That was a download that I definitely got. Okay. I got a couple different ones. Um, let me see. But that's like identifying you in that low frequency vibration. I found that quite interesting because um, in the reading from earlier, we were talking about um negative thinking and low frequency vibrations and you know just sending out that unclear vibration unclear intentions to the universe and that's what you get back that's what you manifest okay yeah he's been humping stuff and then he like i don't know i just been, i've kept back i like this for the past few weeks That was one of the things that I wanted to address. And then let me, let me go back. Cause it's just a couple things up ahead that I found pretty interesting. Uh, some childhood wounds to identify and, you know, know where you could place your healing around 11, 11, 11, 19, 11, 22, 11, 01, 11, 17. That's the confirmation numbers for this. Um, abandonment, backstabbing, gossip, slander, lies, which is deception, rumors, manipulation, illusions financial abuse mental spiritual and physical abuse okay rejection control somebody being very the possessiveness being very possessive um self-sabotage people pleasing cheating compromising bread crumbing rush to sex that means like you don't have no throat chakra you're being silenced okay that's some that's that's another childhood wounding that can this can all come from childhood, okay? Shannon, 
get for doing what's best for me and religious slander. That's real. Okay, these are just some things that I want people to be very, very mindful of, okay? These are things that I want you to be mindful of. Um, here's some affirmations that we can say together. I was just going to go through some of my notes. 11, 11, 11, 21, 11, 40. Eight strengths, okay? Do affirmations and do eight strengths and tell yourself this every single day. But we're going to do something together. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. What's for me is for me. What's not is not. Say it with me. I'm not waiting. What's for me is for me. What's not is not. Okay? I'm loving, nurturing, and empathic. Stay with me. I'm loving, nurturing, and empathic. Y'all, my cat keep biting me. Um, I set boundaries. If not met, I release. Stay with me. I set boundaries. If not met, I release. I'm a queen of empress. I deserve love. If, if you're a masculine watching, you're a divine masculine. You're an emperor. You're an emperor. Okay? I see through illusions sent to hurt me. Say it with me. I see through illusions sent to hurt me. No, because you keep biting me. You being mean. All right, I release any guilt from the past. I'm sorry, that was so way too guys. Okay, um, say it with me. I release any guilt from the past. I co-create with the universe. Say it with me. I co-create with the universe. Y'all, look. I don't know why he, why he being mean. See this? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I, I'm being genuine with you. Um, I'm financially abundant, prosperity, mentally abundant, I'm strong, okay? People can't use me no more. Say it with me. I'm financially abundant, prosperity, mentally abundant, I'm strong. People can't use me no more, okay? I send negative energy back to its sender. I send any negative energy sent to me back to its sender. Y'all say it with me. I send any negative energy back to its sender that was sent to me. Um, I end cycles effortlessly. Stay with me. I end cycles effortlessly. Um, I take accountability for all my actions. Stay with me. I take accountability for all my actions. I'm always one step ahead of the enemy. Stay with me. I'm always one step ahead of the enemy. I don't know. My cat has been in a succubus energy. A incubus energy. Like, like, a real territory with a real possessive of a pillow. Why are you being mean to me? I ain't just not just gonna love you. <laughs> I don't get it. Sorry, y'all. I don't get it. I'm really trying to attack me right now. While I'm working. <laughs> if you understand, if you know what is going on, please let me know. Please let me know. Because he's been very possessive over this pillow right now. If I try to take it, he'll bite me. And I never seen my cat act like this, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm being so serious. So but I was just talking about entities using your kids. This is my only kids. They can be the animals too. I don't know. But it's it's a human nature. So how about then? It's just the aggressiveness and the possessiveness behind. Okay, accept and change. What's for me is for me. What's not is not. Letting go what's no longer serving me and no more. Not allowing confusion or chaos around me. That's how illusions get painted. That's how you get put in the midst of that. Even if you don't want to, just you could be a put in collateral damage to people's karmic death. Okay, not participating in gossip, slander of others and me. You don't even need that in your energy. Like I said, you don't want to be guilty by association. And if you know that's not where you're going, be in rooms where they talk about gold and money and going somewhere, not other people. Don't sit up on the tables, okay? Handling and healing. Hey, first of all, see, this is all old, but I'm going to add my twist to it too. Healing, see, Gmail uh, confirmation. When you acknowledge that you're being triggered by something, acknowledge that you're triggered why am i triggered right now and then when you can acknowledge the feeling behind the triggering the first step is admitting it look i got my uh pointer the first step is admitting it right acknowledging that first yeah acknowledgement you need to acknowledge the triggers that you have 
So then you know where to point towards where you need to heal. So like, let's say one of the triggers is, I got a whole bunch down. Um, on my list, I'm trying to do one that I never did on my channel before. Bear with me, y'all, bear with me. This is all new to me. I was like, let me get on here and teach you from this. So if you're used to hmm, financial abuse, we're going to use that. Acknowledge, okay, why am I feeling triggered that so-and-so said this about my finances, that my parent tried to take my finances away, okay? Let's say that's 4, 11 on the clock. Let's say that's the triggering. So the first thing is, okay, why am I feeling triggered? Because something further down the line triggered me. So like, let's say money got shorted. You feel triggered. Identify the triggering. Then try to identify where the deeper root of it is stemmed from. So then when you think back, it's like, okay, well, for punishment, my parents used to make me lose jobs, take me, take my financial aspect, take my checks, take that away from me. So that's where it stemmed from. So then when it happens, why did you go into the survival mechanism? But you have to identify the triggering behind the action, behind the survival, the survivalness, the movement, okay? Um, so yeah, handling and healing when triggered. Identify, heal, recognize, put in work. So really it's recognize, recognize, which is a part of the identifying it. Identify, so recognize identifying where it came from, where it stemmed from, where it's deeper rooted from, 515 on the clock. Healing it and then put it in that work, okay? After you heal it, you're gonna have to show spirit that you learned the lesson, okay? Communication clearly, not going MIA when angry. Make sure you're communicating your needs. You're communicating your boundaries, things that you need, your principles, morals, values, standards, okay? Has trickled down, must see change. You gotta understand generational trauma, guilt, past, generational curses, hurt, trauma, all that gets passed down and it stops until that one person stands against it all. So yes, you're gonna face adversities. At least you know you're doing something right, correct? Okay. Discouragement, discouragement leads to settlement. When you get discouraged, and hey, you just settle. Don't be discouraged. You see only your way, only your path. You see the vision that spirit and divine gave to you. And that's just that. Don't let nobody give you them guilt, feeling of not enough. And not being guarded too new. I got that bad, y'all. And it's sad that I wrote this back then. And still to the day, I can recognize this. So I know where I need to focus my healing towards. Because this is something I didn't even touch for real. Because I feel like new things could be set up. So I, I just prefer to be alone. Just genuinely speaking. That's something that I need to work on. But I need to identify why I even feel that way and where it's coming from. Okay? Stop dating unhealed others. If you are a healer, you're going to attract unhealed beings, unhealed people. You don't date your projects, your assignments. Your clients. You help your clients heal, but you don't. No. It's not professional. I had to learn that. I learned that the hard way. Okay? Knowing worth beforehand. Before you even come into any relationship dynamic, you need to know your worth, baby. That means nobody can sleep on your worth because you know it. Okay? This is to masculines and feminines. This message don't discriminate. It's to everybody. To each his own. You know if, you know if this is what you need to hear. Okay? Cleansing negative energy and staying away from it. It's like, okay, yeah, they're poisonous to me and then going back around that same poison. But thinking, if I cleanse myself, no, don't put yourself in the environment again. Stay away from it once you identify it. All right? Don't rush commitment. What flows, flows. Do not rush into commitments. Don't rush into sex because you mess around and not even identify the red flags that you should have seen in the beginning, 818 on the clock. Okay? So don't rush into commitment. Let it flow. And not being love bomb into intimacy. You gotta understand some people will study you to come at you with what you want. So give it time to love people. Give it time to get to know a person. 
of not being love bombed into that stage. And then the mask fall off and you're, and look, you got a wet butt and you attached. And you got to do all these cord cuts and get these spirits off your back because you don't know what demons these people are fighting. That's why you have to get to know a person and identify them red flags. And in the reading earlier, we were talking about um, semen retention, um, celibacy, not laying down with everybody, not consumed, being celibate. Sexually transmitted demons. It's not just STDs. It's the spiritual aspect too. People just sleep on it. Releasing past karmics, twin flames, and counterparts. If you are moving on, you're on your new love journey. You can't be looking back in the past. If it's meant to be, it'll be. Point blank period. But as far as blocking your own happiness, what if you get from it? It causes in a whole different form, a whole different shape. A whole different person and you're just so narrow-minded to this one way. No, enough of that. Sacrificing your own happiness? No, enough of that. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If that's who you're supposed to be with, it destiny will always bring y'all back. Spirit will guide them back. So right now, don't focus so much on that aspect. Unless you have to make terms with wrong demons that you did do. And take accountability for your actions. That's the only reason we should be reflecting back on these relationship dynamics. Unless you're genuinely walking your twin flame path, your counterpart path. It depends on what path you chose to take, twin flame or soulmate. And sometimes your twin flame is your soulmate. Okay? You know, I put this up because loan can irritate me a little bit. Like, I I, I can't stand to get in my face. I, it's just too much for me. So, I, I don't ever stay with it down for long. Okay? Um, and lastly, not allowing people to steal your energy. If it's that easy, if that's all it takes to take your energy, baby, the devil will be busy with you all the time. He'll be taking your energy all the time. Okay? All the time. But that's if you allow him to. These are some downloads that I just so happen to look back on. I'm like, wow, let me share this with my collective because of these, this is a part of my old spiritual journey that starts back. And looking back on it, you could always refresh your memory. And ain't no telling what part of the timeline you on. 11, 12 on the clock. So this could teach you a lot. You never know. Okay, so this is why I aim my journal work towards or like healing work. Okay, okay. so I guess that's the new batch. Um, your insecurities, healing them things. Like things that you don't like about yourself and other people might find wonderful in you, but you don't like about you. Or things that you think of yourself really low, which make you operate in this energy of less confirmation. Okay, it don't even have to be necessary. I think I'm ugly, no. You could think less of yourself and be moving out of insecurity. You don't even know it. And that's something that you gotta heal. Trust in somebody not doing something. Okay, working on being more open and communicating. I mean, I had that bag. Like, if, if, if you grew up in a home where you were told what they say go and your feelings don't matter, it might be hard for you to express yourself. Some people shut down and go, go into other rooms and just shut down. And some people express themselves through anger. I used to be that person. Um, and only know how to express themselves in angry ways, as in violence, okay? But you have to be more open and learn new ways to communicate and express yourself because that just leads you down the road of destruction of anything. Okay? Don't compare it to the past. Don't compare it to the past. Apply lessons, not carry new pain. Compromising as long as it's not going against your worth, your boundaries, your morals, your principles, your values. Especially if you know you're right. Love authentically. Sacred. Scared of intimacy. That was me. I went through rape, and I, that was just a part of me that I had to heal. And ain't no telling who I'll be here and who I'll be through, but um, we are only to be intimate with one person, period. That was just me. That's that's still me, and I feel like I have sacred sex. I value myself, okay? But me being so closed off and dipping and dabbling with, my, with 
a particular person knowing they were no good for me, that was my biggest downfall, and that was something that I had to heal. Okay, so I was I I always went back to that one person because I didn't want to get no extra body. I didn't want to start over. I my my heart was there, my love was there, but really. I was operating out of brokenness. So I was running back to something that was no good for me instead of just starting over and giving myself giving myself a chance of happiness and loving me first, then giving myself that chance of happiness. But I had to heal, okay? And that was just a part of me, and I'm just being authentic. Hey, you never know who you can help. 1414 on the clock. Let loose a little. Look, that's not my thing. I'm letting loose. Um... I know I, I just feel like I'm at the point where I healed that aspect of my life, so it's it don't really affect me, okay? Um, practice patience. I've been learning patience still, believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> oh, new beginnings. Thank you, universe. Okay. Tell yourself thank you for the things in advance, spirit. Trust in your intuition. There's a sign before destruction. Always remember that. Just hit my tooth. Not going backwards. People pleasing. I had that really bad. Okay. This is like my journal work. I'm just talking. But me not going backwards. That was me going back to things that did not serve me no more. Just because I didn't want to start over. The fear of starting over. The fear of intimacy. The fear of all of that. The fear of it. Then you shouldn't be scared. Okay, once you did your work, did the lessons, you're not dating out of that same vibration of pool. Now, if you if you get out of a relationship and jump right back into the market, okay, I'm going to change out a, a cheetah for a liar. Uh-huh. I'm outside, I'm in the streets, but really, you ain't do no type of internal work. So, just off the strength of you being broken, even if you're not a cheetah, that's what you will attract because a cheetah is just a broken person, a person that's very unhealed herself. 1544 on the clock, Okay. So that's, that's something that I felt called to talk about. Positive mind and no negative thoughts. If you feel yourself going to a negative mindset, safe word, candles. Mine's is candles. You know, I make my healing candles. I love my candles. My safe word is candles. I got my crystals up in here. It's a vibe, okay? It's a vibe. My candles just went out. I'm kind of a little sad, but it's a vibe. Um, look, learn from rape. Learn from it. How did, how did you get put in that position? And I'm not saying all positions, you put yourself there. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, in my situation, it was so much I could have did to avoid this before I even got in. It was so many red flags. I just didn't peep. I thought it was love. Okay? Erase that thought of you. If you think of yourself back in past tense of your mistakes, that's what you're going to show up as every day. It's that old you. So delete that you. If you're trying to Shed that old you for a new you. You have to delete that old you. Okay, you can't be dibbling and dabbling on both sides. Just don't work like that. Stop allowing pain, pain to change you. And my uh, scenario is, um, if it's if that's all it take to close down all your chakras, your heart chakra. If that's all it take, a person to do it to you every single time. And what I mean by that, your heart chakra is being connected, it's feeling, it's loving, energy, emotional balance. So if a person, if you allow somebody that projects something onto you to bring you pain, havoc, confusion, chaos, hell is a mindset. You're putting yourself in a hellful mindset and you're allowing this person to take away the best piece of you. The piece that they only get revealed because it's deep within them and they could be envious, they could be of any, any type of feeling of what you possess. But you're going to let them strip that piece away from you. The most valuable asset. See, everybody run away from showing emotion and they feeling and being vulnerable because it's, it's hard to do. And people don't want to get hurt. But the strength is in vulnerability. The strength is in emotion. And just being you, being authentic. Weak people run. Run from pain, run from their problems, run from everything. Weak people run. A strong, vulnerable person is going to go with their heart. 18, 11 on the clock. Okay. It's beauty and lessons and pain. Okay. It's beauty and pain. And there's also lessons there. All all lessons start off as a blessing first. Then it turns to a lesson. Some of them do. That's the seasonal people. 
But it's, it's beauty in it. It's like, okay, you just got to make it through the storm. Let all the clouds clear up. Let all the rain drop. Let the smoke clear. So you can enjoy the flowers that did blossom throughout the storm. Okay? People give up before they can even see the birds and the bees out in the storm. Once the storm set down, once the storm is all over, people now already get up. When you was just right there about to hold, pull on the door handle. You was just right there, just that close. Don't give up. Because there's so much more in your shoe. You work so much more in your shoe. So much beauty in the pain that we go through. But we're not supposed to, the, the hint is we're not supposed to take the pain of what we went through with us in life. We're supposed to take the lesson. And the pain fade away. The pain goes away. When you heal it, the pain go away. But what people do is take the pain with them. And they never give them time to forgive them or them forgive others or themselves. Because if you're holding and harboring that pain, when do you have time to actually take a look back and reflect on the situation? And reflect on the part that you played. Right? Like me, I could say all day, oh my God, I got cheated on, but... Me out of rape, me out of so many different triggers and traumas, kept going back to these dynamics knowing that they were no good. You get what I'm saying? But I was operating out of brokenness. 2002. Okay, and opening your this three dimen your third eye. Now. Okay, now there's another three. Three on a soul mission. Make a list of your goals. Make a list of 10 goals. That's for 10 10 completion. Goals and aspirations. Think of a prayer that I wrote a while ago, y'all. You can say it with me if you want to. The red veil of love created from the blood of the divine heart made flesh cleanses and protects me now. Okay, I'll say it with y'all. The red veil of love created from the blood of the divine heart made flesh cleanses and protects me now. Through this extraordinary grace, I am free from the pain of judgment, betrayal, and abandonment. Okay, through this extraordinary grace, I am free from the pain of judgment, betrayal, and abandonment. I reclaim my feminine dignity, and for mass closes, I reclaim my masculine dignity, okay? Say with me, I reclaim my feminine dignity, I accept and honor my sacred beauty. I accept and honor my sacred beauty. And for mass closes, you could be in your feminine energy, you have to embody both anyway, so, you know, check it how it resonates. Um, ancient Egyptian, this is how they used to manifest ancient egyptian way okay visualize both blow bubbles and put ideas your dreams or desires in the bubbles okay that you blow out revisit photos that show or and remember what was the feeling in that moment linked to the path that you're trying to take so let's say you got a picture that reminds you of happiness uh, or good memories remember the feeling of what was the feeling in the exact moment linked to that path okay this is to manifest resilient resilient of my dreams draw or write three desires i thought wasn't possible okay as i meditate remain true to heart and soul increases increasingly power healer help awaken consciousness and love unconditional unconditional love is the highest frequency of them all highest vibration of them all okay letting what blocks us from my journey letting go of what blocks you from your journey ask and be willing to go through the process so if you ask the spirit to fulfill your enemies be willing to go through the revealing everybody want the testimony but don't want the test it's like okay spirit reveal all these fake people these people that's no good to me and then when they do and it's and you it turns out your mama <gasps> i'm so sorry <laughs> why you but it's like we just asked for that what do you mean why you i was just showing you they hand the hand you was dealt, okay? Choose me and your, choose you in your path. Stop conforming what's best for you. Stop conforming your life path. That's not open negotiation, baby. That's your life path. That's what you're here on this earth to do. Whether people like it or not, stand on it. Okay? Service day look up. I think that's a, a, a business office in my book. You are a healer. Write down things you're grateful for. Take your power back and walk away from anything not serving you. Move in silence. Work in silence. Don't back down from opposition. Show strength and gratitude. Spirit wants to know truth. 
strength and let divine have it next. Express your gratitude. So liberation Hindu God Kylie can no longer divine define myself with my victim story to succeed in life. Set boundaries. We are not victims. We are not. Don't allow your victim story to if you if you allow you being the victim and you got you this far in life, you need to let that go. Thank you. We're not victims. Not not over here, we not. We learn from anything that we go through. Anything that we go through, this it's a lesson. It's either a blessing or a lesson. A victim, no, cannot, no can do. Don't feel bad for me. Don't do that. Okay? And you need to be in the same mentality. You're not victims. And don't use your victim mentality to succeed in life. That's manipulation. Because you, when you feel short and you could have liked the count as little you in. And something you think you were a 10 in, you could have really came to out of brokenness and really was a 5 in just off the strength of you being broken. Because that's what you're going to attract. It's literally a reflection of you, of what you need to work on from deep within. That's deeper rooted, okay? So we're not victims. We don't do that. Okay, cut ties with any form of the past up until now. Cut ties with the past. And you have it for a reason, let it go. Okay, refuse to allow judgment of others to define me. Don't allow people's projections, people judging you to define you if you know you. First of all, if I know me, how you going to tell me who I am? Tell me that. Come see about me if you want to know me. Don't listen to somebody that's projecting to you about me. Okay? Period. Point blank. Look, I'm just making this so easy. Okay? Make sure you're setting the boundaries too. Big on set boundaries. We're not victims. We just set boundaries. I, I don't like that. I'm going to express that. Don't bite your tongue. Okay? And if you meant to bring something back from the past, spirit will let you know. Because we all guided to do so many different things in our life. So many different things. But if that's meant to be, spirit will let you know. You see signs, synchronicities, you will know. Trust. You will know. Dreams. You will see so signs. The cars. All that. You will know. Do something creative. Once I express pain, release it. Oh, another thing, and this is something that we really need to talk about. Your mouth can create and it can destruct. You can create destruction up out of your mouth. You can see spirit signs, 26, 27 o'clock, out your mouth. God's magic out your mouth. You can destruct out your mouth. So watch what you say. And watch the intentions that you put out. Okay? Because that's a lie. A lot of karma be playing out. People, oh my God, why are you on me? Just be karma. You're slandering a person. That's karma. If you're making up stories about a person, knowing it didn't play out like that, that's karma. That's dark magic. That's spells. That's illusions. That's casting. So be mindful what you say. Be mindful the room, the conversations you have when people are not in the room. Be very mindful. Because just because you think spirit not paying attention or you think that person not there you never know how serious and inclined they are and that spirit team could probably be looking right over you like damn this motherfucker are goofy i ain't put it past them though you get what i'm saying so watch what you say because your mouth can create and it can destruct take full accountability for my actions in the three-dimensional realm take accountability for the parts that you play Realize a typical human being lacks accountability. And a lot of people put their clarity in other people's hands searching for accountability out of other people in a situation. You could be like, you know what? I played my part in that. I did this. I did that. I blase, blase. I can't take accountability for your part, but I can for mine. I can self-evaluate myself. I can reevaluate myself. I own no self. I can't tell you your life. I never lived it. You never lived a day of mine. You only know what you see or what I tell you. Okay, so you only know self, you only know your lifeline. Like if somebody was to write a book, they wouldn't know every particular detail like you would because it's your life. That's what I mean. So you can only take accountability for the part that you play and the things that you allow. 28, 18 on the clock. It's the only part you can take accountability for. And you have to acknowledge the part that you play. Some people go their whole life being that victim. Oh my God, and he cheated on me fast, fast. 
And then I got out of dynamic with him. And then I was with this other dude for six some years. And he cheated on me nine times. But I just thought that maybe he would change. Maybe at this point, it's not them, it's you. You need to work on something because something in there is broke. And that's why you keep giving chances and chances on something that if you know you don't stand for that, you wouldn't fall for it. You stand for nothing, you fall for anything. Okay? Okay. Visualize, meditate, dream, and create it. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. Recall visualization and manifesting. Dream, think, and visualize. It will come into fruition. But you got to also put in the work. See, people be trying to manifest the person because they know they were wrong. But then when that person come or they get in contact with this person, they like the accountability of the part that they play. And it's like, spirit's like, yo, like, did you not just say you, did you not just was doing that? And now you, now I love tea. Okay. We gonna discuss this another day. That was just some of the downloads that I really, really, really wanted to get out to y'all. I ain't even need my cards. This is just me talking to y'all. I can relight my candles now because uh, they're currently dry. I got them. Y'all, I got this booty cream. It's this booty enhancing cream. <laughs> There's no a little, a, a little bit getting thick. You ain't fuck with me back then. Hey, we'll wait till this booty get big. <laughs> you really can't mess with me now. <laughs> what would look? I, I will show y'all, but nah, that's my business. <laughs> I'm waiting till the cream set in. You know, it ain't set in yet. It ain't set in stone. <laughs> I can't have people messing up my manifestations. I don't believe in surgery, baby, but I'll use some cream now. Okay. Okay. But that's definitely something that um, I wanted to talk about and with you being a part of your spiritual path and your spiritual journey, just some notes and some things that you can take heed to. You feel me? This I never know who this can help out. You never know. And I never know what part of the timeline you want. You can jump timelines. Like, you could be on a whole complete different timeline. But as of this point forward, you are not a victim. We're going to say that now. If something going on around you is either one, reflecting back something you need to work on internally. Two, it's a test to see if you're going to even set the boundary because you know what you are and do and don't want to accelerate. Now, are you going to stay where you're comfortable and just tolerate it just because the circumstances feel nice? Because they feel comfortable? 21, 22? Or are you going to stand on what you believe regardless of what, how you feel it's going to play out? Regardless of the circumstances because you walk in faith. Because you walk with the vine. You walk with the light. So regardless of how this play out, I know the vine got me. Regardless of when the smoke clear up regardless of anything i know my intentions was pure i know divine got me and i know i'm gonna make it i know i'm protected i know before somebody touched me divine gonna touch them that's why it's like in them situations it's like okay we got it but don't let pride ego shame guilt don't let that take over you because hell is literally a mindset a lot of people be in mental hell because of a lot of stuff that they did and they, they be taunting them and be haunting them but really it's divine telling you this is where you fell short at this is where you lack accountability at, and you playing victim right here and you know what you did now go make it right or karma gonna keep hitting it till you make it right it's just life your car problems Karma hit in so many different ways, sickness, STDs, it hits you so many different ways and forms. So you gotta figure out what you did and come to terms with your wrongdoings. Take accountability, but from this point forward, we're not victims. I don't care what the situation is. It's a lesson that could be learned out of anything. Anything. And take it from me, I've been through it. To be a healer, you gotta go through the hell. Y'all think y'all think it's easy. I just, I just, I make it look easy and I make the pain. I, I really know how to transmute pain. Trust me, even in the abusive dynamics, that came from childhood with me. Okay. And, and what you think I was attracted to? Men that was mentally, physically abusive. Even though I, I told myself I'm not going to end up in a dynamic like that. And then ended up in the exact dynamic. And man, even though I told myself I wouldn't be that goofy. And, and, and failing was that goofy. It, it, like it's a part of life you live and you learn but it's all about the wisdom that you gain from it because you can grow in age and never get wise 
to go for the worst. A lot of people discredit me because I'm young. Yes, I'm 20. But I'm very wise. Don't sleep on me. I'm very wise and I'm not stupid. I'm very fucking stupid. I'm very intuitive. And people play on that. And people try to play on it. But that's cool though. Because that breast meat can slip away. That, and that dance. So see, you playing on that. Okay? Because you never know what a person was, what a person possessed, or what they got to bring to the table. So you should never sleep on any blessing. Because they might look up and they a billionaire in the future. And you slept on them. And you guilty. And now you, well, I should have held on to them. Oh my God, why would I switch out a damn for a penny? But really, you should just head your ass open and pay the attention. Okay? You know, it's blunt, nothing but blunt over here. Nothing but realness. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what I'm coming with. So, <laughs> you know what to expect. Kiwi spiritual gay, gay, gay. Love. And we will talk. Okay? I love y'all. Namaste. I might be like spiritual gay, gay. Namaste. No, spiritual gay, gay. Spiritual gay. Spiritual. Spiritual gang love namaste. We out. <laughs> I love y'all.